Oh my god, Big Mama, are you okay? Okay, yes, homemade lasagna is best, but at least you have options when in a pinch. Time to sample the top 10 best frozen grocery store lasagnas. Cauliflower Foods. Did you eat all four boxes of lasagna? <laughs> it's not my fault. Garfield the cartoon cat is known to be lazy, but he's not stupid. The proof of his intelligence is the fact that the fat orange cat loves lasagna. The question is, would he love a big hot tray of lasagna made with cauliflower noodles instead of the usual wheat flour? Cauliflower Foods uses cauliflower to make a low-carb, low-calorie, and gluten-free frozen lasagna. Its low-carb count means this lasagna can be part of a ketogenic diet that emphasizes protein and fats over carbohydrates. A minimal amount of carbohydrates is definitely not in line with your mom's traditional lasagna. Let's be real here, lasagna is not health food and it's full of carbohydrates and calories. But it is a delicious and hearty meal that can be enjoyed in moderation. This alternative lasagna does include several layers of cheese and sauce, as well as spinach and zucchini. Cauliflower Foods lasagna has received surprisingly high marks for flavor and overall quality quality from customers. This plant-based lasagna could be a relatively light and healthy option for people willing to try something a little different. Although this vegetarian take on an Italian classic might not be for everyone, it's still among the best frozen grocery store lasagnas. Giovanna Rana I made lasagna! Who's Sonia? What? What? This brand of lasagna's tag is Italy's most loved. This seems like a bold statement from the makers of Giovanna Rana meat lasagna. However, this frozen lasagna is sold by Walmart and the retail giant can afford to be bold in how it markets its products. Giovanna Rana's lasagna is worth trying the next time you get a craving for this Italian favorite. Walmart's customers give this frozen lasagna good marks for both the overall flavor of the dish as well as for the firmness of the lasagna noodles. Some lasagna Lasagna becomes one big mass of goo because the noodles end up being much too soft. When the noodles are too soft, they just get all mashed up with the cheese and sauce. However, fans of Giovanna Rana meat lasagna insist that the layers of pasta, cheese, sauce, and meat remain firmly intact. If the integrity of the dish is an important factor for you, as it is for many lasagna lovers when picking out a frozen lasagna, then this one is probably a good pick for you. Even if Giovanna Rana is not literally Italy's most loved lasagna, it's good enough to have in your freezer. There are times when you need a hearty meal, but don't want to take the time to prepare lasagna from scratch. Stouffer's. You know, your mother worked very hard making that lasagna for you. No, it tastes funny. For satisfying comfort food that can go from freezer to oven to plate, it might be hard to beat Stouffer's line of classic frozen entrees. The company's meat lasagna holds a prominent place among these hearty dishes, and for good reason. Stouffer's lasagna is big enough to feed most families, and there might even be some leftovers for a midnight snack or the next day's lunch. This frozen dish provides your family with a complete meal that doesn't require any preparation other than preheating the oven. The party-sized Stouffer's lasagna serves as many as 12 people, according to the box. But your family might eat bigger servings than what the people at Stouffer's have in mind. Regardless of the exact number of servings you get, this is a decent amount of lasagna. Fans of this particular frozen lasagna say the noodles are soft enough without being too squishy, and it keeps its shape when you cut it into slices. It's frustrating when you try to cut into lasagna and it collapses into a mound of mushy noodles and cheese. There are generous amounts of meat and marinara sauce, and the layers of pasta are topped with creamy mozzarella that browns nicely if you leave it in the oven long enough. There are countless variations of the basic recipe for this classic Italian dish, but this one from Stouffer's fits the bill when it comes to frozen grocery store lasagna. First time here? Well, take a quick second to hit that subscribe button. It's easier than putting a lasagna in the microwave. Thanks so much. Amy's Vegan Who's hungry? Who's hungry? 
When you think of lasagna, you likely think about delicious ingredients like gooey cheese and savory beef and sausage. But Amy's vegan lasagna doesn't have any cheese or meat. In addition to being vegan, it's also gluten-free. Amy's vegan lasagna doesn't have some of the key ingredients most people would associate with a traditional lasagna. So you might be wondering what Amy's lasagna does have that qualifies it as lasagna. The answer is a lot of pasta, but it's made from rice instead of wheat and a generous amount of vegetables. The vegetables in the recipe include zucchini, onions, and spinach. According to fans of Amy's, the rice pasta in Amy's vegan lasagna holds up well during the heating process and doesn't get too soft and mushy. The vegan substitutions are fine if you're a vegan, but what about everyone else? According to some online reviews, at least, Amy's vegan lasagna is actually tasty enough for everyone to enjoy. This is quite an accomplishment for lasagna that doesn't even have any meat or cheese. While a vegan lasagna might not be for all lasagna lovers, this is a pretty healthy alternative to a delicious but heavy and calorie-laden dish. It might not be as satisfying as the traditional version, but could work as an occasional substitute. Rayos. It's good. Meat lasagna seems to be the most popular kind of lasagna people make at home, and Rayo's is made for home. Or so says the packaging, anyways. The package might have the best picture of lasagna. The generous slice pictured on the box looks just about perfect. Okay, maybe the picture is too perfect to be real, but you have to expect advertisers to take liberties with the truth. The Rayo's package proudly boasts that the company uses only fresh regatta cheese in its frozen lasagna. However, because it's frozen, you have to take this into account when comparing it to fresh homemade lasagna. Even the best frozen lasagna isn't going to meet the standards of the fresh-made version. This isn't your average frozen food because Rayo's is a well-known Italian restaurant in New York City. This kind of pedigree means shoppers should be able to expect more from this lasagna. For the most part, Rayo's meat lasagna comes through and delivers the traditional Italian flavor and overall quality you would expect. In addition to the fresh ricotta, this lasagna offers seasoned beef, sausage, and shredded mozzarella covered in a tasty marinara sauce. Rayo's goes a step further and adds a sprinkle of garlic, basil, and parsley. When you add all these ingredients up, you get one of the best frozen grocery store lasagnas out there. Marie Callender's Well, mm. Marie Callender's is a popular restaurant chain based in Southern California, known for its comfort food fare. However, most people probably know Marie Callender's as a company that offers a wide selection of frozen dinners found at your grocery store. One of the most popular frozen entrees from Marie Callender's is the Three Meat Lasagna. According to the packaging, this lasagna serves four people. The three meats used in this recipe are beef, pork, and pepperoni, and this trio of delicious meats is combined with the pasta, regatta, mozzarella, and marinara for a satisfying Italian meal. Including pepperoni in this recipe is probably reason enough to add this frozen grocery store lasagna to your basket. Pepperoni has long been one of the most popular toppings on pizza, and it's just as good in lasagna. Most people would probably agree that the more pepperoni and lasagna, the better. Better. So why isn't pepperoni put in every lasagna recipe? You'll have to wait a bit for the payoff because this frozen lasagna takes about an hour to heat up in a hot oven. It only takes about a third the amount of time to heat it up in a microwave, but this is not really recommended. The mozzarella won't get brown and crispy in a microwave, so you're better off heating it in an oven. Real Good Foods Bowl Lasagna purists might discount Real Good Foods' authenticity because it has been dubbed a lasagna bowl. But this doesn't really matter for our purposes. What really matters is that this lasagna is a gluten-free option with a fairly unique twist. In place of the usual pasta, Real Good Foods decided to use what it describes as a chicken parmesan pasta shell. Substituting chicken for the traditional pasta is an inspired idea and gives you 25 grams of protein with only 4 grams of carbs. There are generous amounts of marinara sauce and regatta cheese to round out this ultimate 
alternative but tasty Italian dish. Real Good Foods' decision to use chicken instead of pasta makes for an interesting twist on a classic dish that is low in carbohydrates and high in protein. This twist makes a lot of sense for people who don't want to buy an entire tray of lasagna. This lasagna bowl is a single serving of this delicious Italian meal, so it can be a quick dinner or lunch without having to deal with leftovers. The use of chicken instead of pasta in this version of lasagna means that it probably won't be for every Everyone. However, if you're looking for an alternative lasagna dish, this bowl is worth a try. Pretty sure Garfield would still approve. Trader Joe's Yummy. The grocery store chain sells its frozen lasagna under its Trader Giotto's brand of Italian foods because it sounds appropriately Italian. How does this version of the Italian classic measure up to other frozen lasagna? One reviewer raved about the generous amounts of gooey cheese on top of the dish, but also noted that the regatta inside the lasagna was disappointing. According to the reviewer, the normally creamy regatta was a little too dry. Dry regatta is not a good thing. but. Comments like these from reviewers are subjective, so you have to take them with a grain of salt until you taste the product for yourself. This lasagna includes a decent amount of ground beef, so this is a hearty meal with plenty of protein. The sauce is on the savory side, unlike other marinara sauces, which can be a little too sweet. Trader Giotto's family-style meat lasagna is a decent version of lasagna for a decent price. However, based on the packaging, it seems like this is a fairly small amount of food. The label says it serves four people, but these would be some pretty small portions. Realistically, it's more like two good-sized portions. Even with these minor reservations, Trader Giotto's family-style meat lasagna is one of the best frozen grocery store lasagnas on the market. Michelangelo's we do what we do, and we do it together. The name of this particular frozen lasagna might conjure up images of a certain renowned genius of Renaissance Italy, but it's anyone's guess if he would have enjoyed Michelangelo's take on this classic dish. Many people certainly do enjoy it, and Michelangelo's lasagna with meat sauce gets high marks from customers who appreciate the generous amounts of meat and cheese. This lasagna is a traditional take on a classic dish, and it has earned the right to be declared one of the best frozen grocery store lasagnas. Michael Angelo's has created a delicious Italian dish, but there's nothing fancy about it. The makers of Michelangelo's realize that they don't have to be fancy. This is why they market their product by putting an emphasis on wholesome, simple ingredients. Layers of fresh-made pasta, meat, a couple kinds of cheese, and marinara sauce make for a pretty straightforward recipe. It's the blending of these quality ingredients baked to perfection that makes this lasagna a winner. It's also what makes lasagna such a perennial crowd pleaser, whether it's a Sunday dinner with your whole family or a potluck serving strangers. Like other frozen lasagna, Michelangelo's has to be heated to around 375 to 400 degrees for about an hour depending on your oven. Fortunately, lasagna is usually worth the wait, and this one is certainly no exception. Costco Lasagna Welcome to Costco. I love you. Lasagna recipes can include several kinds of different meats or no meat at all. Most lasagna lovers will be happy to hear that Costco's lasagna is made with both sausage and beef. Costco is famous for selling giant cases of toilet paper and vats of ketchup and mustard. However, you don't have to worry because this lasagna allows you to give your family generous portions, but it isn't the size of a swimming pool and will fit comfortably in your refrigerator. You can save the preparation time by choosing a frozen lasagna like Costco's, and all you have to do is heat it in the oven for about an hour. Vegetarian and even vegan lasagnas can be tasty and even satisfying, but how can the veggie version compete when Italian sausage and beef come into play? One online reviewer describes how Costco's lasagna passes the paper plate test. This means that it isn't too wet or soggy so it won't overwhelm your paper plate. This is no small thing because no one wants marinara sauce and regatta cheese all over their lap. The Costco frozen lasagna is a decent product that, although it can't really compete with the homemade versions, is more than good enough for when you get home and don't feel like cooking. Check out more great videos. Just tap or click. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Thanks!